Because it changes lives. This is why we do what we do. Because it means a lot to the Africans. This is why we do what we do. Because it's exciting for boys and girls. This is why we do what we do. 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 We started out in missions in general in the early 90s and began working with boys and girls in Eastern Europe because there's no children's ministry, which led to Royal Rangers. Once we were a part of Royal Rangers, we got asked by Royal Rangers International to be part of the team and then to coordinate Africa. Half the people in Africa are under the age of 18, so Africa is full of boys and girls. Uh, many of them in areas where they don't have access to children's ministry. What Royal Rangers brings is a very exciting curriculum with uh, an hour and a half program uh, for each week. And we train them how to use the curriculum and how to have an exciting outdoor adventure based mentoring program with the boys and girls. You know it's interesting when you see a lot of our pictures from our ministry. One day I was just looking at one of the trainings that we had done and Andy had gone into the bush and done a training for a bunch of leaders. And I looked at this graduation picture that they had taken and they had all a bunch of leaders had their certificates out that they had been trained. It was a good 25 or 30 of them. And I was kind of sitting there looking at the picture thinking, you know, wow, 30 people, that, that's great. I, I wish it had been 100. And the Lord just gently reminded me behind every one of those adult leaders that had gained the training in their certificates, they would go home to their village and 50, 100, that many kids would be brought the gospel and would be taught in a way that they could hear it and that was meaningful to them. You know, Africa is growing, but with that growth goes a lot of needs. I mean, we're just one family, and we, we have a handful of trained staff. We still need uh, certified instructors from America to come and serve on teams. Uh, we're looking for churches to send construction teams to help us with various projects. Our biggest project right now is the East Africa Training Center, which will serve the entire region and it's being built in stages. Right now we have a 20 foot container. The next phase is to build a tabernacle and beyond that we want to finish out the tabernacle with dorm rooms, classrooms, uh, large conference rooms so we can use the facility as a blessing to really the entire Africa region and we're looking for churches that would partner with us. We're up to the tabernacle stage but we're going to need funds to help complete the building and even furnish the building. It's going to need classrooms, it's going to need bunk beds, it's going to need pots and pans for the kitchen and blankets and all kinds of things. I've seen their lives changed and they went from really poor and really living in a bad place and stuff, but once they accept Jesus into their hearts, then their life changes instantly. We do this to change their lives to get them to know Jesus, that's why we're missionaries. That's why I'm a missionary. So that people like that can hear about Jesus. When I see little girls, when we invest in their lives, feel important and feel valuable because we tell them how much God loves them and watching their smiles and watching them feel important because God loves them, not just because I've gone and spent some time with them, but they are transformed. That's why we do what we do. When I see the boys and girls come to the altars at the end of a camp and give their hearts to Jesus, when I see leaders pouring out their hearts to God and saying, God, you've called me into this ministry. Thank you for equipping me. When I see lives changed in Africa, that's why I do what I do. I know every time this is why I'm here. 